Hi everyone, it is day 220 of my one year of videos. Today, again, I was dreading uh, doing a video. <laughs> you know, and it's been that way for the past few days. And uh, yesterday, I didn't really say anything. And today, I thought, yep, I could do the same thing. I could make a quick little video and then, you know, just get on with my day. Just kind of check the block. But I recognized, you know, I, I started making these videos because of anxiety and not wanting to hide and isolate. And I recognized today that I could make a video and still hide and isolate. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So I took time to... Uh, write about what I wanted to talk about and you know what's going on for me yeah you know this this is me living my life out loud <laughs> and um, it can be uncomfortable sometimes sharing things <laughs> um, but you know what I'm finding it's more uncomfortable not sharing keeping it all inside me yeah so th this this is this is all for me. <laughs> anyway, so um, when I was looking for a place to live a couple months ago, I got real clear. My inner guidance was telling me that I wanted silence, solitude, simplicity, and stillness. And I made a video about it before, and I've talked about it. And what I'm finding very surprising <laughs> is that. You know, I found the, the perfect place to experience those things, and I thought, oh, this is going to be so wonderful. And it probably is wonderful, but it doesn't feel wonderful at the moment because anxiety has shown up in a really big way again for me. And um, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? It would be really tempting to distract myself or get busy doing something you know I I have a lot of fun when I'm out adventuring traveling or whatever and it's like oh I could plan another trip or you know the mind starts going oh this is not such a good idea what were you thinking and the ego wants to blame what I'm experiencing on my circumstances like oh you need you need to do something and, um, you know, as much as I enjoy traveling and things, I do not want to have to do something to experience happiness <laughs> um, or to get away from anxiety. My inner guidance is just telling me no. I, my, I know happiness is inside me. It's not something that I get by doing something. I've experienced that happiness, that bliss, that peace and contentment when I am really connected with the truth of who I am. And anxiety being here right now is making that, or seems to be making it, it's super challenging right now. <laughs> And I'm experiencing a lot of discomfort. And, um, but, but I'm tired of, of chasing happiness, you know, running after it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to allow myself to be uncomfortable. I'm going to be, yeah, I've said this before, I'm going to be comfortable, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> and just uh, let things be as they are. Um, because... Yeah, I sense that there's a breakthrough, you know, com coming at some point. And if I'm wrong, oh well, you know, I'll go back to being busy and doing things or whatever. I don't think so. You know, but yeah, so I I don't know, you know, this is, nobody else has been on this journey that I'm on. I mean, you know, we, we all go on our own, our own self-actualization journeys or, you know, evolving and awakening, but it's an individual thing for each one of us. You know, I have to go inside. My inner compass is guiding me. Nobody else can do this journey for me. Thankfully, I have friends who encourage and support me in it. Uh, but the truth is inside me. And that's where I have to go. And giving myself 
this uh, living situation where I have can have silence and solitude and stillness and simplicity are gifts that are going to open up the way for that truth to come through so that I can experience love and peace instead of this fear and the illusion. All right, I'll see y'all again tomorrow.